Hey guys, it's Axel here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Until Dawn. Now, where we left off, a lot happened. We saw monsters, someone got their head chopped off. A bunch of crazy stuff happened. Emily got bit. Uh, and Josh got tied up, but then he got caught by the monster. That almost killed us. Mon those monsters are scary, so let's continue. Hopefully we don't die, but... That old man known as Exposition passed away from uh, head getting chopped off, which isn't a fun time. Yeah, they're talking about him right now. Tore him apart right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. He didn't get his hand in the game. What are you looking for? Another way out. Look, I had to make one joke. I don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come mm -hmm. for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can Even she's, un un she's unsure. Mike, Even though no she's the one the car. who Josh, got help. He's gotta have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then... Sam's jacket is alpaca. She's packing quite a bit. Mike, it's possible. What's possible? Look, I gotta stop. <laughs> they have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> I mean, he was here for a while. Which is yeah, kind of like... crazy that he was here for a long time, over a year. And then just like, we come along and he dies instantly. You were? You've been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. With dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's it is a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. It's like everything is connected. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, it's Ash. Oh my God. Don't worry about it. It's Ash. It's nothing. Oh, it no. just it, oh, no, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you, I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily. At least let us check it out. Emily. No. If the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Oh, is that how it worked? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Wow. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I'm glad Sam is being the voice of reason. what these can do? And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you Even doing? Chris, being like the nice caring guy in this game, right is literally saying, yeah, Emily should leave. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're Sam's the only one being the voice of reason. about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! My gosh. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're- You're gonna shoot me? <laughs> Like me? This is the safe room, M. 
Please. It's not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that. I'm really sorry. Ah, uh, nah. You know what? I think I should just aim to the all over the place and not, yeah. Dude, Mike, you just suck at aiming. <laughs> I ain't gonna shoot Emily. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. <laughs> I love how he's like, no one leave. And then he proceeds to leave. <laughs> and I think they proceed to leave later on in this scene, too. It's like nobody listened to Mike at all. I thought that that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. Sam's awesome. I don't know if I can. Journalist, journal cannibalism. When the window grows. This guy's a little OCD. Okay, you just, you just want to interrupt me? Whatever. I'm gonna flip the page and just let you speak on your own because you didn't let me speak. <laughs> Local man found dead. Liars. This creature is real and dangerous. I'm glad he circled, underlined, and highlighted real. Just to make sure that we know that it's real. <laughs> he only highlighted and underlined dangerous, so I guess dangerous isn't as impactful as them being real. <laughs> Must be contained. He boxed every. Every animal became sacred also. Mining disaster, death toll There's rises. There's a lot of history to this. Yep. A lot of history. But I'm not going to read all of this. This is a lot of reading. <laughs> if y'all want to read it, that's just getting the game. But just know that he, he marked down a lot about these Wendigos and all about who they are and... How vulnerable they are, and their combat, how they're formed, and all that. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Nobody cares. <laughs> Stillness, totally. Mimic, not. That's the only things he highlighted. This is like this is like a huge detailed version of what he pretty much told Chris before, <laughs> but just with extra detail. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. Okay. So let's not kill Wendigos then. Uh, what it's a, talking about the bites. Legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I've been bitten, but I did not change. The only way to eat the flesh of another is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. He got bit. He didn't... Like, when we saw him, I don't think I saw, like, a big bite as big as Emily's. Like, Emily, they had a... Th that Wendigo had a full-on snack on her shoulder. Oh. Uh... Oh, no, yeah, I suggest no, getting this game know. if you really want to read say? all these clues and know everything in depth. Conceal. Crazy stuff in here. Reassure Emily you'll be okay. What's with the face? Ashley. Like, she, like if you don't, like, go left or right, she just looks straight up, like, evil. Like, she look. Oh, there, there we go. I talked about how evil she looked, so she put her head up. She's like, yeah, I don't want to look evil. Oh, nope, it's back down. Nope, it's back. Emily, Emily. No, I've been calling her Emily. It's Ashley. 
Ashley. The bites. If it bites you, it's not. Ashley, delicious. if you want to look evil, do then just look evil. Let me see. Uh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh oh. There's Emily. Um, I don't know why I got the uh, so names wrong. Says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine. Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, please, for Emily. This. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. So Chris is like, so no, sorry. don't do it. <laughs> he just laid his hand out. Even though, like, shh, shh, shh. Ashley and Chris are kind of, like, together now because they kissed. That's pretty much, like, official that they're together now. And Chris's only way of defending his girlfriend is like, no, just <laughs> laying out her hand. He tried to use the Force, but he forgot he wasn't in Star Wars. You should have listened to me because of your choices. I like how Sam is the voice of Reason, but she like didn't even stop Emily. She did at first, and then she realized, oh wait, Sam is right. Uh, uh, Emily's right. <laughs> I'll just let her go. Remember last year? Ashley got slapped though. First she got punched in the face, and then she got slapped in the face. Her face is just a punching bag. While a reef threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Oh, that's not. Oh, well, okay. That's not what you want to say. Terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You still have a lot of blood on your face. You should have used that napkin for yourself. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? You're getting blood all over your nice clothes. Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Hold on, when I press R1, is it actually as Josh? Oh yeah, it's as Josh, isn't it? Wow. Okay. They hurt me. That's probably what he would say. Joshua, not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. It was just a game, man. Nah, I'll be apologetic. Let's hope. But it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Oh no. The fears. Okay, I'll skip this. Alright, back with Mike. Despair. Sounds awesome. Sounds like a fun time. Mike, that's the second time you said oof. I really would like it if you not. Why do you lock it? <laughs> Mike, if there's anything you are, you, you you're brave. You got some balls, Sonya. You know that there's like monsters and Wendigos trying to kill us, and your result is to go back to the sanatorium. You know, he he is doing this to get the uh, keys from Josh, but he doesn't know where Josh is. I guess he's just guessing that he might be at the sanatorium. Oops. Huh. Huh. What happened on the walls? That's a good question. What did happen to the wolves? I 
I mean, we went, we met and became friends with one of them. And then the other one we, like, never met. Never saw. If those wolves were with that old guy, then why did both the wolves not stay with the old guy? They just stayed here. Maybe this was, uh the old guy's permanent house. I mean, there's stuff all over the place that were from him, but did he really live here? Maybe he did. Maybe there was a clue or maybe a dialogue thing that literally said that he le lived there. And I just like completely forgot. Like I said, I've played this game many times before, but if I don't know something, either A, I'm playing it, playing it off for the sake of people that never played this game before or B I'm just feigning, feigning ignorance or C I'm just I le legit just forget things because it's been a long time since I last played this game nice you should take more bullets than that that was just a handful Good enough. that was like what six eight shells shotgun is good enough. He had a pistol before. That he just like laid down for everybody else to like just just to shoot Emily just in case she turned. Which is, that's nice of Mike. He, he's literally go out, going out on the front without a single gun. And the only gun he had he gave away. Respect to him. But he's got a shotgun now. And he's saying it's good enough. Shotguns are great. Oh, wow, this glitch is still a thing. <laughs> I made a video about that glitch where his head is moving. While you look at the totem. Danger totem. He didn't even look at it. He, didn't look, he looked away. He's like, I don't want to see this. Fair enough. I wouldn't want to see it either. He was fighting a Wendigo. Holy hell. Oh, they died. Uh, uh, died right there. Grave right there. They put all the graves together, so did they, like, bury all of them all in just one spot? Or did they? were they not able to find the bodies, so they just made a graveyard for them? Let's go. Let's go, Mike. Okay, you gonna shoot this one too? Last time you shot it, you had a bunch of things blow up on you. So you gotta be careful next time you shoot something. Wait a pupper! There's one of the wolves. Have you seen me again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. No. Alright. Good boy. I wish I had a treat for you. Alright, pal. I'd give you a treat right now. Come with me. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Put the wolf's like, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Ah, boy. At least Mike has somebody to talk to. Is there clues around here? I'm trying to get all the clues in this uh, Let's Play. I think I've gotten every single one so far. I don't think I've missed a single one. And if I did, I apologize. I'm trying to get every single one. Danger, keep out. Alright. That's my cue to keep going. Oh, there's a warning sign. This area is closed off. All right, no entry. Sounds fun. I'm coming in. Dokey boy, calm down. Okey dokey, artichoke. Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. 
I'm stuck on this side. You don't got the wolf moves. You gotta just like channel in your inner wolf, Mike. Nothing. <laughs> Inner wolf, come on. You got this. Squeeze through. It's not like you're Jess and you have the ladies. You can fit. He, he didn't even have to move it. I'm sure he would have squeezed through that. I do got moves. You do. You do. Mike, you got the best of moves. Honestly, Jess would be proud. Okay, is there anything back here? Nope. Okay, let's go. Wolfie, you're you're kind of getting really far away from me. I don't like it. Boop. Huh. Doctor's report. They should be dead. Another strict observation. Restraint. Strongly recommended. Wow. Social dysfunction. Frostbite. Lots of stuff. So they were uh, observing people that were turning into Wendigos. And they're like, yo, these people should not be alive right now, but they're alive right now. And they they slowly and slowly turned into a Wendigo, I'm guessing. Ugh, oh, 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 no. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. oh. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? Oh, poor doggo. How did that even happen, first of all? Like, we're assuming a Wendigo did that. But how did a Wendigo do that? Fuck, man. Oh, this that's... Truly disgusting. Oh, no. I don't like this. Why am I looking at it? Oh. He literally got, like, stuck to the gate. Huh. How, how did a... Built, like, how did the Wendigo even do that? How crazy were these inmates? Very crazy. Clearly. Let us out. We are starving, freezing. It will make you. This I will make nice. you pay. Stop testing us now. Nine. Or not. Yeah. That's nine. Is it nine days? Dang, they were stuck there for like. Nine days with no food. Super cold. Honestly, that would be horrible. I don't think a human can survive without eating for nine days. Because I think, like, after a week of no eating and drinking, you start to, like, hallucinate and become really weak and pass out and stuff like that. So I really... Maybe, maybe they, like, starve them to the point of them hallucinating and then like them turning into a wendigo is because of all the brain problems of no food and no en energy which is messed up I do know there's a game a prequel to Until, da Until Dawn showing what happened here in the sanatorium although these clues kind of say what happens there is a game that kind of gets into depth of what really happened, and I will be playing the Impatient as well, as long uh, and uh, the Until Dawn Rush of Blood. I'll be playing that as well. So, I hope you all look forward to the VR Until Dawn games. Um. He turned into Spider-Man. Recreated a superhero. Honestly? That's skill. What the fuck is going on around here? 
Oh, Spider-Man broke the camera. I love how back then they saw something like that and they're like, oh no, it's scary. Super scary. <laughs> Let's run. But then, like, nowadays, if that happens, they're like, oh, he became Spider-Man. <laughs> He turned into a Wendigo, though. So that's like the opposite of Spider-Man, more like... What's the opposite of Spider-Man? <laughs> I mean, technically it's, it's Venom, but like, what's the opposite of a spider? A snake? Maybe. Medical examination. Progression of skeletal... Hyper... Whatever. Day four. I didn't, I didn't say I didn't say that hyper word because like I don't know how to say it. Day nine, okay. He looks nice. Day twelve. Hot sauce Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Um, sorry, Mike. Just want to say that again. Jesus, hot sauce Christmas cake. What are you What are you having on Christmas? That's a weird. That's a weird gift. That's a weird uh, cake. He looks nice though. That, that picture's good on him. Take out his good side. Twelve days, and then they turn into a Wendigo. Well, maybe it's like a full fifteen or more for them to be fully a hundred percent Wendigo. Because he still had his um, hair and stuff in that picture, and the Wendigos we're fighting are completely bald. Good question. Let's find out. Whoop. Sorry, Alter. Stole it right from you. To whom it may concern. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This place is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson Bragg. Rest in peace, my guy. Rest in peace. I really hope, uh... If Mike survives, which I'm hoping I make sure he does survive. Hopefully I don't mess up and he dies. But if he does survive, I hope he tells people about this place. And the people here get, like, proper burials. They have to take out all the Wendigos first. But after that, I hope they get proper burials. B-Wing. Batman Wing. <laughs> That's an appropriate response. Do, do, do. Wolfie, why are you, why are you standing? You're usually somebody who goes up ahead, and now you're just staying staying there. Kind of worried. I mean, your tail's wagging a little bit, so you're a little happy. Are you happy that I'm here? I don't know why you're standing stiff. So you're scared about something. I'm going in. Huh? For some reason, they never fix that. I'm not gonna do that. Just the thing moving. It's probably way too small. Whoa! Hello. Get out of my face. I ain't gonna waste a bullet on a rat, but I will waste a bullet. Well, not really waste it. I'm gonna use a bullet on you. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. straight ahead. The global, the global thing is off for some reason. Should be on. Like, I show the percentages. Um, I'm not gonna waste a bullet, considering, you know, he can't get me right now. You can't get me. Nuh-uh, you can't do it. You stuck. Yeah, you better, you better get away. I'm not wasting my bullets when you can't get me. That'd be crazy. 
Okay, well that just sucks. Mike, you are full of f bombs. <laughs> no way. No fucking way. This is happening. He probably said like a hundred f bombs in this game. Okay. Gurg. <laughs> who's there? You know who's there. It's the same. Now it's time to shoot him. Drop him dead. Get him. Bang! Mike, get. Boom! You back off. Using up all the bullets. Got it. Whoa! Oh, I'm glad he remembered something like that. Oh! Wait. Maybe I shouldn't. I feel like we're good. Because I stabbed him, he ran away. There's nobody. There's. I don't need to lock this. But uh, I'm gonna lock it anyways, because the game wants me to lock it. I see no point because the Wendigo wasn't able to get in that room. <laughs> the hell was that? Oh snap! Wolfo, you best freeze like you did before. Mike, how about not moving your head? Alright. Be good. What? No, gravity. Why must you do this? Alright, we're good. Who's he talking to? Because he already passed by the Wend Wendigo that was going after him. He already passed by him. Unless there's, unless he th knows there's multiple. Huh? Damn it. What the? What? What? Whoa! Nope, not wasting a bullet on that guy. He's in a cage. Don't need to waste no- Mike, what are you- Mike, they're in the cage. I literally didn't waste a bullet because they were in a cage and they- No, whatever. Mike, if you want to, like, put your face super close to a cage like that- Good time, boys! It's enough for me for all ya! Ah, shoot. Okay, let go of me. Jerk. See, Mike? You gotta stay away from those cages. <laughs> Don't put your face in front of one. You fool. I almost failed that because I was scratching my nose. He just wanted to give me a kiss. I'm not shooting, he's already getting flown back. Fuck. 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 Yeah. Nope, not wasting a bullet. Mike. You it, Mike, you really want to waste all the bullets. You didn't grab that many. So I ain't wasting them. I think, like, in this game, he has unlimited bullets. So, like, you can shoot every single thing and not run out of bullets. Which is weird, but I'll be conservative anyways. Cons Not good. Saving my bullets. Well, I'm, I'm gonna use it there. Go. 
And blow up the barrel. Oh! I'm pretty sure the book told me not to kill the Wendigos. But I'm gonna kill the Wendigos. <laughs> Why do I need to lock it? They're all dead. Every single one is dead right now. I blew them up. Why do I need to... Why is he locking every single door? <laughs> Honestly, Mike, sometimes I question your decisions. Wait, was there a totem back over here? Don't want to miss none. Mike, you're crazy, but I like you're crazy. You got you got a crazy that I respect. You got a crazy that I love. Okay, there's nothing back here. That was a complete waste of time. Where's the wolf? -o? The wolf -o just ran off without me. Kind of rude, not gonna lie. <laughs> but the wolf -o wants to save himself. I get that. I understand that. I'd probably do the same thing. A wolf can take care of himself. The other wolf wasn't as lucky, but the, this wolf got this. This wolf had the strength of the bone that I gave him. The chicken bone. The strength of the chicken bone helps him be stronger than any other wolf in the entire life. In the entire world. Because he has, he has love and compassion. What am I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying complete gibberish. Mike, it would be nice if you ran. No oh, thanks, I'm good. Don't blow it up. Can you just open it? Uh, okay. Oh, guess not. Fuck. Wow. Alright, guess, guess he has to blow it open. Oh, because there was a lock. Okay. Well, he just got his face smacked into a door. Barricade? I mean, you've been locking and barricading all the doors before, so might as well just keep going with it. Hey, buddy. Come on down. It's alright. Oh, we'll fall. Oh, he's scared. I'll catch you on the flip side, huh? The wolf -o was there the entire time. He just didn't want to make that. He didn't want to make the jump. He was scared. I understand. The wolf -o got this. Like I said, he's he's got the strength of the chicken bone that I gave him. Bang. Oh shoot, there's two Wendigos. Load up! Mike, you are crazy, but I love it. Demolition man. There was two Wendigos anyway, so if I shot one, the other one would have gotten me. Now you're running. This run was weird. <laughs> hey, Jessica. Still upset I didn't get her in her skibbies, but... At least she's alive. Dang, she's really bruised up. Honestly, if I got her in her skibby, she would have been way worse, and she would have been freezing. So, I guess maybe having her in these clothes is at least a positive. Poor Jessica. She just wanted to smash, and it says she got absolutely destroyed. Come on, guys, hurry up. Smash as in she wanted to play Super Smash Brothers, obviously. I'm 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 kinda giving out here, guys. Uh I think maybe you should go on without me. 
Are you gonna be okay? Oh, God, Chris, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, just go on. I, I, I can't keep up with you macho ladies. Oh, God, Chris, just stop it, okay? Listen, just, just go on ahead, okay? You gotta warn Mike, I'll be right behind you. I'm just gonna take a breather. Okay, Chris went through a lot. Right. He deserves a little break. Wait, can I go back and talk to him? Oh yeah, I can go back and talk to him. Nice. I don't think I want to, because then <laughs> if I go back and talk to him, I'm, it's going to be like, oh, never mind, you're coming with me anyways. So uh, I just want to give him a little breather. Also, somebody in the comments told me to choose that decision. Ooh, another totem. What is it? Something good, I hope. Danger totem. Okay, well that's Josh. Um, he looks um, a little shaken up. Shook up. He's got a nice Halloween costume though. You guys are just waiting here? Oh, no, she's trying that. Emily's just waiting there. Shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. Yeah, he locked every door. Another way in. <laughs> Hold on, Sam. Maybe you're just not strong enough. I'm going to try it myself. I'll show you what it means to actually open a door. Guys, I think he locked it. I really don't think there's a way out. Except through Wait, this hey, icky sewers. This? I mean, should should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Excuse me, I had and a we have infinite amount of choices. Ashley, why'd you do that? We have an infinite amount of choices. This is life. Emily, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hop out. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. Hmm. Well, that's kind of rude, but I guess I understand. It's gross down there. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? Yeah, I don't know. To the sewers? <laughs> Down to, uh... The place where all... The poop goes? Because <laughs> it did kind of look like a sewage drain. I want to make sure Chris can find us. Hey, maybe if I leave some marks along the way, he'll be able to follow us. You know what? You go on. I'll catch up. Okay. Okay. That works. I mean, considering the other door was locked, there's literally no other place he can go besides here. So I don't think that arrow really helped that much. Ashley. Still really sucks that you still have a bunch of blood all over your clothes. You should have just took Sam's old clothes that was on the dummy. Because she apparently doesn't want to wear them. So you should wear them. Other than having blood all over you. Pig blood all over you. It's probably it smells gross. But maybe at this point I think she's used to the smell. Hello? Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Uh, well, let's see. This is fucking crazy. Jessica. Ugh! Jessica, 
Is that you? We're here to save Jess. We know Jess is alive. Hey. What about Matt, though? Please? I mean, last time, if somebody's in danger, um, they'd be more uh, expressive about them wanting help instead of saying, please. Hi. <laughs> no, 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 no. Totem? Okay. That's not good. Uh, Jessica, is that you? Hello? No, I really don't think it's her. Um, she would have said something. No, you're not Jessica. No, chill out. You're not Jessica. I hear bangs, but the thing's not moving no more. Nope, not gonna do it. That's not Jessica. She would have responded. Not gonna do it. I'm so glad to see you. Glad you're safe. Thanks. Look. Look there. Wow, great. <gasps> the ladder's toast. We're never going to make it up there. No, no, no. I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm going to keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've got to get Mike. Good luck. Okay. Chris, it took you that long to realize a giant, Sam? A giant hole Ash? in the ground. You guys hear me? <sighs> He's not gonna close the thing. Okay. Chris. Christopher. I hope that, uh, I didn't see the time, so I don't know how long he actually took a break. But hope, uh, hope that break was good and worth it. Hope you feel good now. He is still limping. So maybe it still hurts. Some capacity. What was that in the background? I saw that. Huh? Hello? Who's there? You know what? Let's hit, let's let's let him investigate oh, no, the coming. force too. Hold yeah, on. Chris is super kind and caring. He he'll go I'm after coming. it too. Whoa, Chris! Chris, calm down. Dang, his leg is real and not feeling it. Chris is super kind and caring. I mean, he let he let Mike almost shoot Emily. Like he just like agreed to the plan. Even though uh he's somebody who would risk his life to try to save Sam. Hello. Who is here? Jessica? Who is here? Who wants to who needs help? Hmm. Ooh. Nah. Nah. I really think somebody would have responded. Honestly, somebody needs to respond. <laughs> I don't trust anybody who would say nothing after I uh, try to unlock it. <laughs> I'm pretty much teasing everybody that's watching. <laughs> Yep. What happened? I thought I heard Jess. Oh my god. I mean, he's not the only one. She she thought she heard Jess too. It wasn't Jess though.
What's going on? Okay, well, Josh is taking a nap. Sam in the mines. Alright, this episode, how long is it? 50 something minutes? Alright, well, I'm gonna stop the video here. Because it's getting pretty long, and I don't want the video to be, like, over an hour and a half long. So, tomorrow, this, the next video might be the finale. <laughs> I think I'm getting, like, really, really close to the end. So, the next video will probably be the finale. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneezed on this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I truly hope this helped cheer you up in some way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series. Sorry that this video took a while to come out. Um, <laughs> I was teasing you a little bit with the Ashley and Chris thing. <laughs> for people that have played this game before, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know that I was, I was, <laughs> I was messing with you. <laughs> uh brave Sam is brave everybody is brave in this game I don't know why she absolutely loves Mike despite the fact that Mike almost tried to shoot somebody but uh hey she absolutely loves Mike um but yeah see everybody